Well, good evening and welcome to Night Prayer from St Margaret's in Raynham. I'm Jonathan Jennings and I'm on the staff team at St Margaret's. Uh, Night Prayer, well, it is what it says on the tin. It's prayer and it's for the evening. It's the late evening service and we're taking it from our home worship books and you can get these from the website. Um, You can send us a request via Facebook. Uh, You can also be in touch on the phone um, or you can uh, contact us via the website. And I'm going to mention the website now because um, we're just beginning to get to the point where the ticketed services that we're doing uh, over Christmas are beginning just to fill up a bit. So if you go to the website and look up the services for Christmas, you'll find the information about booking and what's possible and what isn't. There are some services over the period that aren't ticketed. Um, That's not to say that we'll be able to get everybody in. We have to stick to the rules. Um, And I'm afraid that once we reach capacity in the church, which is somewhere between 30 and 35 uh, additional people, then um, we won't be able to add other people to the services. So please do bear that in mind. On Christmas Day itself, we're doing both an eight o'clock service and a 10.30 service in the morning. It's the first time we've run two services on Christmas Day for quite some time, but we just think we'd like to get as many people to have the opportunity of being in church with us at Christmas as we possibly can. So full details on all of those uh, services and the ticketing arrangements are on the website. Uh, Night Prayer tonight is uh, taken from the Home Worship book and we begin on page nine. Uh, Just to say, if you want to get ready for the readings, the first reading is Psalm 25 and the second reading is taken from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, beginning at the 14th verse. So Psalm 25 and Matthew 17, verse 14, when we get to that. The idea of night prayer is that we just spend some quiet time putting the day to bed, committing into God's hands all those things that we've done, those experiences we've had, the jobs we've tackled with success or otherwise, and just laying everything in God's hands and being open to his guidance, his comfort, his help for the days that lie ahead. We start with a brief moment of silence. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us, Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. And so we reflect on the day and we commit it into God our Father's hands. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And so we come to the psalm set for this evening, Psalm Psalm 25. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. 
For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity, and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Reveal the troubles of my heart, relieve the troubles of my heart, and free me from anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress, and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies, and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our scripture reading is taken from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, beginning at the 14th verse. When they came to the crowd, a man came to him, knelt before him, and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic, and he suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith, for truly I tell you, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the Magnificat on page 9. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from every generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. And so we come to pray. And in the quietness and stillness of this night, we commend ourselves and commit ourselves into God's hands, that we may know his strength and his presence, his saving power, his redeeming love, all that he gives us in Jesus and in the Spirit. Help us, Lord, as we commit this day to you and ready ourselves for the challenge of tomorrow. Let us know your presence with you. Hear us as we pray for all those who need our prayers this night. For those who mourn, for those who know despair, those who live in constant fear, give them the resilience they need to meet the challenges of the day ahead. And we pray especially for those pained by memories they cannot control or erase, and who are scarred by the experiences of their former lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Almighty God, whose Son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps they may find fulfilment in loving you and their neighbours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose the ways of thy servants towards the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by thy gracious and ready help, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Advent Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put upon us the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. That concludes night prayer. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Just a reminder that the information about our services over the Christmas period, um, which actually start tomorrow night with uh, our candles, our carols by candlelight services. They run Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Full details of those you'll find on the website. Uh, but for now, have a safe and peaceful night. Thank you for joining us and God bless. <laughs>